I'm building a sliding cross sled for my fret saw. It's a very simple design using linear bearings. The one requirement was that it had to be able to be locked in place anywhere along its travel. I designed this small add-on that works just great. The fact I also needed a spacer for the guide blocks allowed me to integrate the spacer and lock it to one piece. This made everything much easier, although you could design it separately. With the help of Fusion and my 3D printer, I made it happen. It actually works much better than I expected. I did, want to mar I did not want to mar the uh, slide rails, so I'm using PLA for that purpose. This is where the plunger fits that locks the rod in place. The plunger is a piece of PLA. It's machined. It has ears on the side so that it won't twist. It'll just go vertically up and down in the space. And here where it's being shown, but in actuality, the plunger goes in, then the sliding bar goes in after that. There's a simple quarter 20 screw with a nut once that's tightened up, that locks the plunger against the bar and prevents it from moving. Very simple, but surprisingly works extremely well with very little pressure against the bar and locks it firmly in place. On this particular design, I have two of these, one on each end. Here's a top view with the quarter inch 20 nut inserted. It's the depth is about 11 millimeters, and because of the shrinkage of the PLA, it fits quite tightly in this area. Actually, it had to be hammered in the area. Uh, if you're concerned about it coming loose, you could certainly put some epoxy or CA glue in the area, but the lock prevents everything from moving quite well. Here, I'm using Fusion. This is the uh, base spacer uh, for the guide rail. Um, these are in metrics. These are four millimeter holes. I extruded that. Then because this was going to be joined, I made a separate sketch for the lock area. And you can see I've outlined the area for the plunger too at the same time. So that could be extruded so this is the extrusion this will be extended up to the top so that it fits flush with the guide on top obviously with fusion you can modify this whatever is particular is your design This is the area of the sketch of the nut. Again, this was extruded into the top area so that the nut would lock in place. In the front face, I sketched out on the face the area for the rod to go through. I wanted clearance because this really didn't support the rod at all. So this was a eight millimeter diameter rod. I made a 10 millimeter hole in this area so the rod could slide through. Here I'm modeling the area of the plunger. So the plunger will fit. I haven't cut the bottom in the plunger. I made a half circle in the bottom of this uh, exactly at eight millimeters in diameter so it would cause a compression against the rod. In this area, I extruded the rod is actually bigger than, this is a 10 millimeter extrusion, which is not correct, but it gives you an idea of how the area moves through. 
then the plungers fits down, and then the quarter 20 screw is just pushed downward against this area, and it really takes a just a slight turn to lock it in place. Here's one of the knobs I designed. Same thing. It's just a cutout to accommodate the head of the screw. And again, due to the slight shrinkage, uh, these are pretty much a press fit in the area. Here it is working with no compression at all. Here's it's about a half of a turn and it's firmly locked. I thought this may be helpful. Uh, if you found it to be helpful, uh, please leave comments or subscribe. Thank you.